Okay, I just had the first night here. It was a good night of sleep. Um, I'm still kind of camping here. It's still a mess. I have to make planks. I make the, I have to make a little kitchen. A drain that goes down the floor and then drains out of the window downstairs. So I can have water here. Not running water, but I'll still use the, the, the containers. But that's the next step. I'm kind of cleaning up. Like organizing, because it's a it's a mess you know that other building is full of stuff i don't know i don't know where everything is it's like it's <laughs> it's it's all over the place because i've been having a kitchen there and here i've been moving things around all the time so this is now finished i need to organize everything so and clean this outer space up and i can have storage here for food for example um i don't need a fridge because it's uh, it's cold enough outside so if i just leave it outside on some shelves that's my fridge so uh, yeah it's exciting it's extremely beautiful out there right now because it snowed all day yesterday so there's about this amount of snow and um, but I have to charge my batteries to take some shots because it was so cold and the batteries are I mean they need some they need some warmth Oh, it's so nice and warm here. I've got this kerosene heater and it heats it up instantly. It's better than the camper because the camper is more has more holes, more ventilation. Yeah, this is nice, a warm place. <laughs> Black. Oh, Bust has gold very quickly. Mm. I think the sausage think? is good. That's cold. I think I must take a little more pasta. 
Yeah, I'll finish it. Ah, oh, that's too much for me. Buon appetit. Grazie mille. Altrettanto. La tengo calda perché... Uh, I think I leave it in the, in the stove. So Stay warm a bit longer. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Good dinner. And then I made a thing for you. It's not. Uh, you made it. Yes, it's not uh, anything Happy. super uh, artistic, uh, or, uh, but uh, it has uh, a point that nice uh, I think uh, we presents. have in common. Warm before. No, why it is wet? The newspaper is wet. Damn. Maybe it's just the condensation. Super nice. I hope. It's a little. No, it's not. It's just a little bit damp. Okay. A brick. It's. Ah. It's just a brick. It's. It's not a. El a temp a pasa, paslo bin. Yes. I don't know what that means. Yes. The, 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 the time, time goes, passes. so a bit nice. What, what's the last thing? Uh, pas lubin. Pas lubin, what does that mean? Uh, a, bit, a, a bit nice. Uh, yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the time goes uh, and so that's nice. you have just to enjoy. And that's yes. uh, a, uh, a brick from... Uh, it's I don't know if I... If you can say it on video, it's a it's a red brick. It's a, an historical brick. From it's from, a, from uh, UNESCO patrimony. Oh wow! The Cavallarizza from Turin. From Turin. What yes. is the Cavallarizza? Uh, the Cavallarizza is the um, regal uh, horse uh, management. Right. Okay. And um, I had uh, to do a, a little work there. Yeah. And. Uh, I took uh, those you bricks. You took the brick with you. Nice. Uh, and now it's, it's here. It's only a brick, but it's from uh, s uh, 1740. Oh, really? That old? It's uh, almost uh, 300 years old. Yeah. And uh, I think that uh, even uh, for the, the the thing that uh, we were saying a little bit ago, mm -hmm. uh, the time goes. And you don't know what the time has for you, so you don't just have to take it and uh, play it nice and have fun. Because yeah. uh, maybe you'll survive 300 years like uh, this brick, or maybe not. Who knows? So, I who like knows? that. Well, thanks, Vilo. No problem. I'll drink to that cold coffee. Yeah, the winch is separate from that, it goes to the top. Mm -hmm. I, so there's gonna be a wheel here, uh, a okay. pulley. I have that already. I can imagine it's also good to have a wheel here. For example, if we need to take off stones here okay. or there. Mm -hmm. It's just easier because if, I, if you pull up something here, mm -hmm. this weight needs to be much larger, right? Because it needs to be in balance. If you pull up something here, it's going to be a lot lighter, so it's easier to manage. Is it 50-50? Uh, 
the length? No. Or is, uh, so these planks, I'll show you tomorrow. They're mm -hmm. in the shed. I have, I think the longest is 360 or something. Okay. Like here in the drawing is four meters. Mm -hmm. But I think um, they have yeah, to be joints. They have to be as long as possible. I think the longest I have is four meter. I'm wondering if I can win height here. If we can build something. Mm -hmm. But I mean, ideally this rests on the beams, right? Because yes. there's a lot of force. Mm -hmm. We need to keep it as simple as possible. And this would need to slide towards the middle. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when I stop working, I put this one in the middle. The crane is in neutral or almost in neutral. Mm -hmm. Then I'll secure a line here. I'll, I'll make an eye here. I'll make an eye here. I'll secure it to the deck, right? Okay. So it's safe. For example, if there's a storm coming, mm -hmm. it's it's it, I can secure it to the to the deck. Um, yeah, and these pipes. I mean, and these parts could also be wood. I think. I wonder. I'm uh, I more don't know. Through. Maybe. Because the thing is, they need to go through, through the wood. Yeah. Could be could be better than using the woods wood. to uh, wood to. Uh, the thing is, if we do it like this, if this is steel, mm -hmm. we need to put them through first, and then we need to weld them on there. Maybe so not weld them, but uh, only bolt them. How do you, how, so you bolt this to there? How do you do that? Making a hole uh, through the through the hole. Uh, but this needs, to, this needs to slide. Okay. The not the beam, the uh, the upper part. So the so wheels. The, the the wheels. Yeah, they they go like that. We have two wheels. Mm -hmm. They are on top of that. They're in the middle. Mm -hmm. Right now they're not, but they slide on that. But we can see if that needs to be. Um, my hands are cold. Um, and then this is going to be yeah, this is going to be stones from here. You've seen a lot of okay. stones here, like the stones over as there. I, as I as I as I was uh, texting you, I was thinking about making the the plate for the counterweight. Yeah. Um, comfortable enough to use uh, as counterweight the the first stones from yeah. the roof. So you're uh, you're gaining. Uh, time uh, and uh, practicality. Yeah. Because you don't have to carry the stones from uh, the ground oh, to yeah. the crane and then to the from the crane to the ground. Yeah. You just move it uh, from the from the roof. Yeah, we could do that. But uh, I think we have to be. Th they have to be secured in some way. Yeah, there needs to be like like here on the back. Mm -hmm. Needs to be a, a stop and then some diagonals. I'll build here, right mm -hmm. here, that needs to be a, a, a little wall because the crane is going to be like that. Like and it's uh, going to be tilted. I up. was concerned about the lateral movement, the lateral lo rotation. W which movement is that? Is, or is that one? Uh, yes, that, this one. Yeah. So that is uh, the idea is let me go to the fulcrum. How would you do it uh, by hand? So you mean? Wait a minute. Uh, how, how do you how do you turn the crane by hand? Like this? By pushing it? Yeah. Okay. I mean that's gonna be easy. But you can't uh, stop it in a certain. Uh, I don't know if you want to. Um, so let me see if I understand what I mean. So you pick up a stone here. Okay. I winch it up a little bit, okay. and then I could push this down. Because this will be sort of imbalanced. Mm -hmm. This will be always heavier. Okay. We have to make sure. I'm mean, because I think so. That's the reason why I want to pick small stones. Mm -hmm. I can take a few stones off okay. to kind of balance it, right? So if we have a very heavy load, mm -hmm. we'll add some more to it, so you can kind of play with it. And I have to see in real life how mm -hmm. that works. Um, so then, when the stone is picked up, it's all secured. We need this needs to rotate. Mm -hmm. It's on that's on this thing. But this is going to be on bearings, like axle bearings, okay. right? So yes. that's going to be smooth. It's yeah. just going to—I mean, I have to—I have to pull here, and it will rotate. As uh, as you're pulling, uh, you have to move the counterweight. No, the counterweight stays. So first uh, thing is, this starts in the middle. Okay. 
for example, this is telling nothing. I'm just gonna lose thread. It right? is uh, the mm -hmm. counterweight is in the middle. The counterweight always starts in the middle mm -hmm. and light. Then I'm gonna attach the stones. So the mm -hmm. ropes here. I have some uh, hoisting bands, right? Okay. I'm gonna put it on there. Or there's a, uh, a tray, a basket for mm -hmm. small stones. For okay. example, in the middle of the roof, you can see there's small stones. Mm -hmm. I'll make a little pile. Then this line is still loose, right? Then we're gonna load. Uh, push this backwards, and once we, I feel that it's in balance, mm -hmm. I will secure everything, and then we can work. Because when this is in balance, I can push this down a little bit, and then this goes up, and then it can rotate. But uh, as soon as uh, you're uh, you're rotating, you're uh, risking to hit uh, the the roof with the counterweight. Because it no, will because stay this can tilt. lower. Okay, so you like uh, you pick uh, you pick the stones up. Uh, you rotate like ninety degrees. Yeah, or you like move the counterweight. You rotate the other ninety degrees, and then you drop down the yeah. The stones. So for example, okay. that's a bit. I understood. Yeah. So when this piece is there, mm -hmm. it's lying in the air. Then with the winch, I let it down. Mm -hmm. Not so far because this is quite low, but on the other hand, it's, it needs to go four mm. meters down or three meters. Then, when it touches the ground, the counterweight goes to the middle, mm -hmm. and then the stones are on the ground, right? But when it's okay. close to the ground, the counterweight goes to the middle, and, and then, then the crane is neutral again. Okay. And the stones are on the ground. We mm -hmm. offload the stones, or we take off the hoist band, we winch it in mm -hmm. back to the top, and then we start all over. Counterweights in the middle, we, l we uh, load the stones and then we do it all over again. I think that's the process. I think it will be nice too. A axial bearing for the, for here. the upper part yes. and the normal ball bearing for the uh, yeah. Downward. I thought that too because this is f carrying mm -hmm. 200 300 kilos right that's okay. a lot of weight mm -hmm. so it needs to be very strong and then uh, this is basically that to keep this in balance yes right so this is uh, this is not carrying so much mm -hmm. weight and the reason I made these double is for the for the flex yeah just so it's because then this is welded to this one and this one and to make it even stronger you could Put mm -hmm. a plate on this. Okay. You know what I mean? Because yeah. then you have a cupis mm -hmm. and it makes it yeah. very strong. And the grease early morning. That's very strange. And the snow is melting. But this is a phone. You can see the warm wind. Strong wind coming from down the mountain.
becoming a bit more livable here. This is going to be an outdoor kitchen. Well, it is already. And uh, I have the workbench still here. So sometimes this is a kitchen, sometimes it's a workshop. And inside I've got a little kitchen as well. But that's more for in the mornings when I, it's still dark out here and cold and I want to make the coffee. and uh, Or when it's raining for a few days I could cook inside as well. But that space is really for, uh, for sleeping and, and working behind the laptop. It's a bit cramped to like nicely cook. And I like to live outside, you know, so it's nice to cook here. When I, on a day like this, it's mid-February and I'm in my shirt, it's sunny, it's super nice to live here in winter even, so that's really good, so yeah, this is working well, I can wash off, I don't have running water yet, so, so these things are great, these taps are really nice, got two of them, and uh, yeah, it's all coming together, this was a little kitchen block I had when I just started out here, just for some this wood was already here. There's a lot of wood here, so... Yeah, that crane project is going to be very exciting. I've been uh, I've been busy with it in January when I was in Amsterdam, 
and I also shared it with uh, uh, like a young engineer, Keenan, and he calculated all of the the forces and the stresses on the member, on the on, on the on the beams, etc. So it's um, yeah, it's I think it's gonna work out. I mean. And I can't imagine how much it would cost to, to rent the crane and get it flying, flown in here, right? Because it needs to be done by helicopter. Um, it would cost a fortune. And not only that, it's just more exciting to build things yourself. You know, that's because that's this project's all about, to learn to do things yourself, be creative. and. Um, because these stones are incredibly heavy. I was thinking about how to do it and I just... The only way is a crane. So you need the horse... Uh, you need both the horizontal and vertical movement, right? They need to get off the roof like that. And then be put down next to the roof. And then I'll renovate the entire roof. And when that is done, they all need to go back as well, so that's that's maybe even a heavier job to put them all back. Very precisely, they need to be placed, and there's some cornerstones which are so big, and they're gonna be like, I don't know, they could be between 100 and 200 kilo. I have no idea, and um, yeah, and with a crane you can just with two people you can place them very precisely, and if they move a little bit, it's just the crane is gonna be a great tool. Um, and I still have a lot of questions on how it's ex exactly going to work out, but I think mostly it's figured out. Some parts need to be welded, for example the fulcrum is the centerpiece that needs to do the, the lateral rotation. And the beams are going to be like with a triangle resting on a, on a cylinder, so that part needs to be very strong. It's the most important part. Um, but. It's a fun project, I think it's gonna it's gonna be cool.